What's up guys? Today, I'll be showing you how to measure your blood oxygen using your Apple Watch Series 7. So by default, once you set up your Apple Watch, that application is installed and activated. And so to measure your blood oxygen, make sure your watch is uh, sitting snug on your wrist, it's not moving around, and the sensors are on your skin, very snug, not tight, but snug, just, just enough. And also for the best readings, make sure your watch is at least a finger thickness away from your wrist joint. So make sure it's not all the way here, at least the width of a finger from the wrist joint. That's the perfect position for any of these measurements. So what you want to do now is press the crown once to get into the main menu. And then you want to look for the blood oxygen icon. And this is it, this white circle with these two lines. So that's what you want to tap on. And that's the screen you're going to get as soon as you do that. Now, as you can see, I already have a previous reading and I'll get to that later. And that's because my Apple Watch has been set to periodically measure blood oxygen levels. But to take one right now, simply tap on start and then hold still for the next uh, 15 seconds. And you should get your blood oxygen reading and you can even tap on this eye icon here and read more about blood oxygen generally but that's currently my blood oxygen concentration now all your blood oxygen measurements will be sent to the health app on your iphone so if you go to your iphone and then look for blood oxygen tap on that and you should see all your blood oxygen readings you can see the latest at 641 which is just a minute ago there you go and then you can tap on show more blood oxygen data and you can be able to see your range your daily average and your high elevation environment your blood oxygen levels when you're sleeping you can see all that data inside the app and also if you want more specific data if you scroll down and tap on show all data you can see all your readings of blood oxygen levels now the health app is just where the watch transfers the information now for the blood oxygen measurement settings, you need to do that in the watch application. So go to the watch app on your iPhone once again, and then scroll down to the blood oxygen app. There you go. And here, as you can see, this is enabled blood oxygen measurements, and it says allow blood oxygen app to use a sensor to measure blood oxygen levels throughout the day. And that's why I have many readings of my blood oxygen levels. Now, if I don't want my watch to automatically measure blood oxygen, I can turn that off and I can only take my blood oxygen levels when I need to or when I want to. I can do it manually as I've just shown you. But that's basically how to measure your blood oxygen levels using the Apple Watch Series 7. Thanks for watching and good luck.